Here are five vector shape tips in Illustrator. Okay, so first one. So let's say I need to create a circle, which I need to position it around the square. Now you might say this process is seamless, but let's break it down a little bit. So I'm gonna select the circle, press and hold shift, create a circle, release it. And as you can see, we don't have the arrow or the selection tool, which helps you drag and drop the circle on the square. So because of that, you need to select the selection tool here, and now you can drop it on the square somewhere. Or to do this faster, you can press the shortcut of the letter V, and now as you can see, it switched to the selection tool, and now you can position it. But the problem is, this is still not the natural way to do it in Illustrator. So let's repeat this again. I'm gonna press and hold shift, create a circle and I won't release the shift nor the left button on the mouse plus I'm gonna press and hold space and check this out and I can position the circle wherever I want for example here and I can create another one press and hold shift again do it again all right so next let's say you position the circle perfectly on the square however you like it and you might want to remove some of the parts with the pathfinder so I'm gonna select both of the shapes let's go to the pathfinder and click on minus front and now as you can see, it cut out the circle from the square. Now the thing is that this is destructive. So I'm gonna press Ctrl Z, and what I'm gonna do is go to the Pathfinder again. Before clicking, I'm gonna press and hold Alt, and now you can click on the minus front, and take a look at that. It removes the circle shape from the square, but you still can see the circle. And here I can double click on the circle and select the circle and now you can position it wherever you like and customize it this way in an undestructive format. And check this out, if I bring another shape under the blue shape that I created, it is going to be fully transparent. So it is not a wide circle that you can see here. Next, we're gonna work with the corners. And as you can see, we got these little circles at the corners. If I drag them, it is going to make the corners rounded. And I also can modify the corners by pressing and holding Alt and clicking on these circles. And this way is going to modify its characteristics and maybe create a star out of it. Talking about the stars, I'm gonna go ahead and select the star shape, create a star, and I'm gonna try to repeat the same process, bring it in, press and hold Alt, click on it, and now you have the new shape. I'm also gonna modify this one, press the selection. I'm gonna go to this handle and increase the spikes on the star, and let's go back, and I'm gonna create a cogwheel out of this. And now I'm gonna go ahead and select the circle, press and hold Shift plus Alt, create a circle, select both shapes, press and hold Alt, go to the pathfinder and click on minus front. And check this out, we got a cogwheel, which is fully non-destructive by the way. So you can fully customize this. I can double click on the circle, select the circle and bring it wherever I like. You can double click to release or you can go and double click on the cogwheel and click on it again and check this out. You have all the functions here and you can fully customize the cogwheel. Now I'm gonna go back to the star last time, press and hold shift, create a star. And I'm gonna go and bring this handle up so it's gonna have like three edges and I'm gonna go to the properties and click on expand shape. And now this shape becomes destructive. You cannot fully edit this how before, but now I can go to the pen tool and click on these anchor points to make a perfect triangle out of this. Now, because it's destructive, you cannot see the little circles at the triangle edges to make the triangle edges rounded. So you can go and select the direct selection tool and this way you can see the circles again. And I'm gonna press and hold Alt, click on it. It's going to change its properties, bring it in. And now I got a new shape and check this out. You can go to the object, go to repeat, select grid, Let's go to grid type. I'm gonna change it to this one. And let's go ahead and reduce the horizontal versus a vertical spacing. And now you got a new pattern. Next, for example, I'm gonna go back to the cogwheel and let's say I wanna reposition it. I think I like it this way, but as you can see the bounding box, it won't be horizontal anymore. So what you usually do is go to the object, transform and click on reset bounding box. So this should reset the bounding box to be perfectly horizontal and vertical, but unfortunately it doesn't do anything to it. It's because a non-destructive shape. So you're gonna need to transform it first. Let's go to the pathfinder and check this out. We got a new button here, the expand. Click on expand, or you also can go to the object, expand, and now it is going to reset the bounding box automatically, but you cannot fully customize the shapes anymore. And now if I want to rotate it, for example, I'm gonna rotate it this way, and now I can go to the object, transform and select a reset bounding box, and it's gonna reset it. And here's the last tip. Let's say that you created a shape that you wanna position it perfectly in the center of another shape. And you can do this manually, by the way, by dragging it and trying to position it perfectly into the center of the other shape. Or there's a faster way to do it. You can press and hold shift, select both shapes, and then click again on this shape and check this out. It is going to highlight this icon. And now I can go to the align, align it horizontally and vertically, and it positioned perfectly in the center. So these are the four or five tips on how to use vector shapes here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.